playing against the Irish. Do you know much about them? Mate, I don't know. They've got Brett White and they've got Paddy Richards. And, uh, you know, they're two players that we need to watch out for because they're going to uh, definitely rally them together. And, um, you know, we're expecting anything from them. Tim just spoke of the need to concentrate on our own performance and obviously with a lot of competition for places, putting a, a good performance in personally will, could be good for the tournament moving forward. Yeah, for sure, mate. Um, yeah, Tim's knocked it right on the head, mate. It's it's all about us and and, uh, and the way we prepare and go out there and play. It's uh, There's definitely uh, some spots still available and everyone knows that. Obviously, it was, a, it was a shame to see Louis go down, but it does open a spot in that team for the big games coming up. Yeah, for sure. I think... Um, you know, it, it is disappointing, very disappointing for Louis. But in saying that, I think Joshua Parley and uh, you know, Boydie Corden had played very well the other night. And, um, you know, it does. It opens up positions and, uh, you know, it's anyone's at the moment. You'd be looking forward to getting out there on Saturday night? Yeah, for sure, mate. Yeah, I really enjoyed last week. It was the first came back for a couple of weeks. So go out there and, uh, you know, try and get the fitness back up again. How did you get through the game? You obviously haven't played for, for a while. I think it was that cold, mate. My lungs were numb, so it was all right. It's, uh, they're predicting two degrees on Saturday night, so you sort of know what you're expecting at, down at Limerick there. Yeah, mate, we, uh, it's kind of scary when you think about it, playing two degrees. Just hope the fingers uh, still have some feeling and they don't want to knock the ball on. <laughs> yeah, but uh, being in camp for about four weeks now, how, how's the World Cup experience been for you so far? Yeah, fantastic. I've, um, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. We've done a lot of sightseeing and... Uh, you know, definitely seeing the side of the world I haven't seen before. So um, I'm really enjoying it, mate. But, you know, it is halfway through the uh, the tournament and we're getting down to the business end now. So it's, um, you know, it's time to switch on. What's been your favourite thing you've done so far in the tournament other than playing? Um, you know, obviously being in the team environment is something I, I really enjoy. Um, there's a couple of things there. You know, we did the uh, the Cardiff Castle and, uh, you know, the Guinness Factory the other day was, was pretty impressive. Um, you know, just the history and... Um, you know, obviously I'm on the Gold Coast, so there's uh, it's probably the history's not too deep there. So when you come over here and you see castles that are older than Australia, it's um, you know, it's pretty cool. And I guess just going back to the footy, that it's time to start switching on now. Obviously we've got this game against Ireland, but then the quarterfinals start. So I think that's what the coaching staff is starting to instil that you've had you've had the time off now, and now it's really time to concentrate on that footy. Yeah, it is 100. percent It's um, you know, like I said before, we're we're more than halfway through now, and. One more game before quarters and, uh, you know, it's game time, it's on.